Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Manoli Kumbayas. I've known Manoli since he was born. Me and my younger brother grew up together, best of friends. And what he's got in his hand is a guitar that was donated to us by a good friend of mine from Knoxville, Tennessee, Paul Rigney. And I just want to read you this real quick so that you know. Uh, Rob, a quick note about the guitar. Several years ago, I formed a luthier group at the Wood Woodcraft Knoxville. The group was made up of builders of all skill levels. The focus of the group was to pay it forward with those that had experience showing others how it was supposed to be done. We chose the name East Tennessee Luthiers Guild. The guitar is the fruit of that first project. It was a learning experience for all involved. When we began, we discussed what should be done with it upon completion. The decision was that it would be donated to a charitable organization or cause. Several came up and the Purple Heart Project was selected. Just so you know, the Purple Heart Project is where we bring in combat wounded veterans soon to be six times a year and offer, give them a, a week of hand tool woodworking. We cover all their expenses, so we're always fundraising. Everyone in the group was moved by what you're doing to help the combat wounded vets. A little bit about the guitar. It's an HD 28V style guitar with construction based upon a 1939 Martin D28. The back and sides are East Indian rosewood and the top is Sitka spruce. The bracing is forward shifted and it was carved by John Arnold. The neck is an HD 28V neck constructed from mahogany. The fingerboard is ebony with traditional Martin style positioning markers. All the parts of the guitar were donated by members of the guild, with the exception of the neck which was donated to us by Martin Guitar. The finish is a vintage correct thin skin nitrocellulose lacquer sprayed by one of our members. Uh, close inspection, I'll read all this, a close inspection will reveal that the guitar is not perfect. There are a few flaws but this was a learning project and that is expected to be expected. We all felt that the flaws contributed to the wonderful sound the guitar makes. The guitar case and case candy. What's the case candy? It's the stuff they line it with. I okay. can't be too sure of it. Okay. We're provided by Open Chord Music in Knoxville, Tennessee. We have a 200,000, uh, two, pardon me. I was getting ahead of myself. I was going to say 200,000. Uh, we have a $2,000 bid for the guitar here in Knoxville, but think you may be able to increase that with the help of some of your loyal followers. Keep up the great work you're doing for the vets, Paul Rigney and the East Tennessee Luthiers Guild. So I asked Manoli, since I might be able to build one, but I couldn't play one, if he would demonstrate it for you. This is some of his original music. Enjoy. Sounds like a Martin. This is great. Good job on this too, by the way. You can contact me directly, rob at robcosman.com. We'll possibly put something on our site in the near future, but you're going to be seeing this in our next two, few videos until we uh, find the right buyer. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Manoli. Cheers. Cheers.